We are officially down at 12 pounds. It is 4.30 a.m. Broccoli, green leaf lettuce, 18 eggs. These work. Wait, my quads like really hurt. Two ice packs. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha if you're new here and thank you for clicking on today's video. Welcome to week four of my summer glutide journey. If you guys haven't seen the first three videos in the series, I will have the playlist linked up here. Definitely check that out if you want to kind of like watch things in order. But yeah, we are on week four right now. I just ended week three and I'm feeling really good. I just did a whole week three recap and everything, um, but I'm feeling really good at the start of this week and after this week, it's going to be an official month. So I'm really excited to just kind of see like what one month on this medicine does. But yeah, I did do my shot earlier this morning. So I'll put a video here. I'm done. Actually, it's kind of therapeutic. Just like dabbing yourself a little it's kind of therapeutic doing a little. Yeah, because I'm like, it really doesn't hurt. I mean, I, I haven't done a thigh yet, so we'll see. But yep. Wee. One of my friends is also on it and she has her boyfriend do it for her, but he's out of town and she's like scared to stick herself. So I was like, let's just do it together because we take the shots on the same day. So we did it together, which is funny. I did it in the thigh today. I saw online, like I've read that like if you do it in the same spot too frequently, like in your stomach, like you could like get like a lump. So like I know the first three weeks I did like right side, left side, right side. And I was like, let me just do my thigh this week and try a different box. I'm like scared. I don't want to get any like lumps or any like weird effects from it. But I don't know why I have it in my head. Like if I don't inject it right into my stomach, it's not gonna work. Just stupid stuff. But welcome to week four. I'm really excited. I have a full tour day today. So I took the girls on a little, like a little over a mile walk today. Usually on my shot days, I don't do an actual workout because I just don't want to like push it, especially upping the dose today. So now I'm at 0.5 milligrams. I was doing 0.25 before, but now I'm at 0.5. I don't like, I didn't want to push it, especially because I have tours today. So I was like, I don't want to make myself feel sick and then be like gone all day, but I will naturally get steps while I'm walking around my tours. Yeah, I'm just rambling. I do need to head out soon. So welcome to week four. If you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe and follow me along on this journey. But okay, I'm done rambling. Let's get into the video. really ugly outside right now but hello happy Saturday we're gonna have like a little Saturday out so we're about to go get some breakfast and then I feel like now I'm gonna be able to hear it over this freaking rain then we're gonna go to an apple orchard hopefully the rain subsides um just want to do like a little fall activity and then there's a new dog bar that just opened last week here in Nashville so we're gonna go back home grab the dogs and then go there so that's the plan for the day it rained and then it stopped so I could take them out on a walk and it was like sunny and then now it's back to raining. So it looks like it's only going to be for a little bit. So hopefully by the time we're out with breakfast and we go to the apple orchard, it's not too bad, but we'll see. Oh wait, that's fun. The light is like a waffle. from our little day out. And if you guys watched the end of the last video, I was talking about how I been constipated for just like, I think yesterday, I think today is day six. 
Again, if you're new here, I am very, it's very TMI, but that is a big side effect of some glutide. So I want to be honest with you guys. And I had like two very small bowel movements over the last like six days, like very small, definitely not enough. So I was like, okay, I need some laxative. Ooh, I just gotta chill. I saw these on Amazon. They have really good reviews on Amazon and then good on TikTok. So they're the Dol Dolcalax. They're soft shoes. And so yeah, I saw some TikToks, they're like, it works too well. But they're just little soft shoes. This is relief in as little as 30 minutes. But I know a lot of people say it takes longer. And I've noticed that too. Like when I took magnesium citrate a couple weeks ago, it says it could start working in as little as 30 minutes. But I think for me, I took it at night and it didn't really hit me until the next morning. But I'm gonna take some. I've been just dying <laughs> to poop. And I am so, I've been literally like so excited. Like I got new books in the mail and I've been more excited for this, which I'm really excited for. Oh, I'm reading the Throne of Glass series and I'm about to start doing the tandem read of Empire of Storm and Tower of Dawn. I got these little tabs on Amazon. It was like, Six dollars for 3,200 of them, which I don't need 3,200, but I have plenty. I was more excited about this purchase than anything. So I'm gonna take, it says to take two to four. Oh yeah, it says this product generally produces bowel movement within half hour to six hours. So it says children, adults, swollen over, take two to four chews. I think I wanna take four because I know I have a lot in there. I think I'm gonna meet in the middle and take three. My battery's about to die. I've heard they don't taste great, but they're not terrible. I'll let you guys know if these work. I'll have a link down below. I think it was like $10. There's 30 chews in here. So I mean, it's gonna last quite some time. Seems like I'm gonna need it with the way I've been constipated. Oh, okay. I love that they're, I was like scared if I cut it open, they were gonna like get um, stale, but they're individually wrapped. Just look like little candies. That's not bad at all. When you know you're about to poop soon. You know? All right, I will keep you guys posted. It's 3.50 right now. So I'm scared, but very excited. <laughs> Y'all, these work. The smell is kind of triggering right now because I'm like, Ooh. they work. It is 9.29. So I took it at 3.50 and by, I think it was at 6.10 after 6, 6.15, I had my first go. And then I went, three more times since then and I feel more of brewing. So these work, I will have these linked down below if you are on this medicine and also are going through the same struggle or if you just constipated at all ever, these work. And it, like I so said, the taste wasn't that bad. Like it's not great. Like I so said, the smell is a little triggering to me now, um, but it really wasn't that bad. And like I said, it worked. I am impressed. I'm hoping get it all out before you go to sleep. So I'm not up all night having to deal with it, but I mean, at this point, I'm just like excited to have it out. So I'm gonna feel good in the morning, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. But but I'm gonna go to sleep and I will let you guys know in the morning how I'm feeling. Uh, hey, easy. You guys are like children. You are children. Anyway, I have very early plans tomorrow <laughs> for a Sunday. So we will be up bright and early. So I'm going to get into bed and do some reading now, but I will touch base with you guys in the morning. I'll let you guys know how I'm feeling. And yeah, see you then. All right. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. It is 8 to 12. I'm up and at it early this Sunday morning, but I'm about to head out to meet up with my friend Zola and we're going to do a little morning hot girl walk, go to Buttermilk Ranch, and oh, they have like the best croissants, like flavored croissants. Oh, where are my keys? So very excited about that. But yeah, we're gonna go meet up. We're gonna do a walk. We're gonna like park further from it so we can walk there, eat, and then we have to walk back. So very excited, let's go. I'm back home. Didn't end up going to, we were supposed to go to Buttermilk Ranch for breakfast, but we got there. We were like, oh, we'll get there so early because it's always packed and the wait was like three hours. Um, we were 144th in line. So 
And I'm going to another spot for breakfast, which was pretty good. And then we did swing into a buttermilk ranch before we left because you can either sit down to eat there or you can just go and get something from like the like bakery. You can either get like a baked good or like coffee. So we got a couple of baked goods. So their croissants and stuff are really good. So we got a chocolate hazelnut croissant. So basically kind of like a Nutella croissant. And then this is like a churro. I forgot what they called it. It's not a croissant. It's like um almost like a krona, I think, or like a muffin or a cruffin, I think. It was churro cruffin, like a croissant muffin, I think that's what it was. So I had a churro croissant from them before and that was pretty good. So she recommended that. So me and Cody are gonna taste these later. But I'm nervous because Zola always goes to, I think it's called like Body Pump or something at like the YMCA. And I was like, I don't know, is a YMCA class actually good? But she was like, I had the same thought. It's actually really, really, it's like a really good workout. Come on if you wanna start like maybe doing a workout together a couple days a week. So we're gonna try tomorrow morning. We're gonna do a 6 a.m. class. So we are gonna get up, I mean, I usually get up between like 5.30, 6 normally anyway. Um, but I have to like obviously be there at six. So that's the only thing, like I love workout classes. I just hate having to like get up and be out of the house so early. Like I like to get up and like read for a bit and like ease into the morning, but this is kind of like a wake up and go. So I might go with her maybe twice a week or something. We'll kind of see how I'm feeling, but I'm excited. We're gonna do that tomorrow morning. So I have to make sure I actually get in bed at a good time tonight because I gotta probably leave. I, I probably to, like do the initial sign up. I probably have to get there a little earlier. So I'm probably gonna have to leave here, but like, 520 to try to get there like 20 minutes before the class to like sign any waivers or whatever and then get into the class so we're gonna get up probably at like 445 <laughs> wish me luck all right we're gonna taste test your croissants all the fillings in the middle so that's why i want to cut it and get like, the, the middle is always the best part yum 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 Let's see all the good stuff that was in the middle Pretty good. Damn, it's really good. My main beef with croissants is that mm -hmm. there was like the tiniest bit of filling. If they put the full filling throughout, you actually be able to taste it. It's like just like a couple bites that you get in it. And then the rest, I mean, the croissant's still good in itself, but it's like all the like the Nutella flavor is literally only right there. It's really good. Looks like there's like chocolate on the inside, but then all the churro like filling is there. And then it's like cinnamony around. Cinnamon sugar is good. Yeah, it's really good. Nom, nom. That's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Damn. Now I wanna lay on the couch. Working on editing week three. This I'm gonna try to edit it today and get it up tomorrow. So that'll be up before this. And then I was just doing some side by sides because I was talking about it in this last video. So if you guys didn't see, but I was doing some side by sides. Just looking at like my face difference, just like side by sides from like me starting week one to ending week three. But I'm like, you can just see my face is so much like rounder. And then you move over here and it's starting to get some more shape. And then what's the other one that I did? And I did this one too. So again, I feel like just round, like I was really getting insecure about this double gym, but my face is just like rounder, puffier. And then we come over here and you know, Losing the double chin still a little bit, but we're getting rid of it. And then I just feel like it just looks so much more defined. So I thought that was a fun little side by side. I love having things like this to look at side by side because sometimes I look at myself and I'm like, oh, I don't really look that much different. And then I see this and I'm just like, okay, I mean, this is like 10 pound difference right here. So yeah. Okay. Let me work on editing this so I can get this up in the morning. Groceries, delivery boys here. Mm -hmm. I'll give you guys a little grocery haul. I'm hoping between, so today is Sunday. We leave in two weeks from yesterday. So basically we leave in like 13 days for our honeymoon. I'm hoping between what we have left in the fridge now and then what we got this week, it'll hopefully get us through two weeks. If we need to pick up a few things next week, we can, but I'm hoping that this can all work. I planned out two recipes I'm gonna make. We have some chicken from last week, so I'm gonna do some salads for the next couple nights. We're gonna do, Cody really wanted like a chicken chili, so I got some stuff to do with chicken chili. Got stuff for tacos, because that's just a easy dinner. And then I think just some extra chicken and stuff for whatever meals, but it should be enough for pretty much the rest of the time that we need with everything else that we already have. So I got one 
yellow onion, one lime. I've been loving these little mini Slim Jims. I've been eating them a lot with like cubed cheese as sometimes lunch, sometimes just like a snack. So I got some more mini Slim Jims. Low sodium chicken broth. Is it cannellini beans for the chili? Sweet golden corn for the chili. I feel like lightheaded, I don't know why. I'm feeling like lightheaded right now. I've eaten, I've had water. I don't know. Um, got one can of pumpkin puree for the dog food. I need to cook them some more food today. They ran out yesterday. I've been making enough of a batch to last pretty much about two weeks. So I gotta make up another batch today. Olive oil. Can we talk about how expensive olive oil is right now? Why is this $8? Like I used to be able to get this for like four bucks. $8? And that was the cheapest option. I'm like, just for some oil? Broccoli, green leaf lettuce, 18 eggs. I got four containers of ground turkey. So basically 12 pounds of ground turkey meat. I got Cody some barbecue kettle chips. Oh, I'm glad they had these. It's a low, low stock online. Um, we always place a pickup order and then I'll usually place the order, he'll pick it up and then I usually, I usually put everything away. Um, I've got some softies. This is kind of like their little bedtime <laughs> treat. I got one red onion. I wonder if I'm like shaking, am I okay? Um, some tomatoes. This is actually really nice because these Fuji apples, it, they had like a coupon on Kroger for a free bag. So this was free. So we love free. Tortilla chips. Figure that would be nice to have with the soup or the chili. Turkey sausage. They didn't have any chicken sausage. So I just got turkey sausage. Cause they were all delivery only for whatever reason. Cheddar shredded cheese, Kobe Jack cheese cubes, Mexican shredded cheese for the tacos, cilantro, whipped cream cheese, one non-fat plain Greek yogurt. I think that's for the chili. Chicken tenderloin. I got a five pack or a three pack of gum. This was also, this was $10 to get some freaking tortillas. They're 16 tortillas is the family pack, but we always get the car balance one because they're just 70 calories, six grams of protein. Um, but I like that it's just low calories. I got two, oh, I meant to get the low sodium. These are two packets of the taco seasoning, more brown rice, two jars of pickles. I usually just get the like kosher um, dill pickle spears, diced green chili peppers for the chili, taco sauce, three little hand sanitizers. Just got three, so we can both have one and then just leave an extra somewhere. I ran out of creamer, so got some pumpkin pie spice creamer. A bag of frozen boneless skinless chicken breasts. Got two jugs of orange juice for Cody. Almost done. I feel like so lightheaded. Am I okay? I'm gonna try to think of why. Like I said, I've eaten today, I don't know. Um, I got five bananas, uh, rubbing alcohol. This was on sale for $2.99, so I got some for Cody. The Ben & Jerry's, it's Chere for Churros ice cream. I got some frozen peas and carrots to make the pet food. So I got two of those. Cody likes these like frozen burritos for lunch. So I got him a few. I got him, I think four of the chicken, cilantro, and lime burritos. This is the Reds brand. I got him four of those and then three of the steak and cheddar. And then lastly, I was very happy to see that these were buy two, get two free. So we got two Coke Zeros and two Frescas. So that's everything that we got in this grocery order. If you guys watched the last video, I did like a deep clean of the fridge. It is looking quite empty, but I cleaned everything out. I got rid of a bunch of like expired sauces, old stuff. So I did do a deep clean, so it's looking really empty. So I'm happy about this. I, I can at least put everything away and make it organized. The freezer is just a little chaotic. So I do want to go through, I'm going to put the refrigerated stuff away and then I'm going to kind of take all the freezer stuff out and kind of just do a little reorganize reorganization of this really quick just because it just looks a little chaotic and i want it to be more organized the pantry needs some love this is probably gonna be a project after we get back from the trip but it's like not the worst thing i've ever seen it's just not the most organized and like a lot of the containers that we have are empty i want to get new ones and some more anyway and more baskets so it's just like a little messy it's fine for now but i do want to reorganize that let's put everything in the fridge and I like putting the things away because I know if I put the, if I put the groceries away, everything will get put back where I want it. Because no offense to Cody, but he does not put things back where they need to go. So leave it to me.
definitely looks a little better. Okay, I don't know why, but I am just getting hit by the biggest wave of exhaustion. I am so freaking tired right now. But I'm about to take the dogs on a walk. I just have to cook dinner. Oh, I'm just so tired. But I'm like, it's 5.30. I'm like, I just gotta get through the next few hours. I might go to get into bed by like 8. And then um, get into bed by 8. Maybe go to sleep by 8.30, which will be kind of nice because I need to get up early for this workout class tomorrow. So we'll see. But yes, I am very sleepy. Y'all, I am feeling so sick. I was feeling so nauseous. And then I was feeling like nauseous on the walk. And I was like, what's going on? I came back and I think those gummies from yesterday were not done working and they are still at it. So I'm like feeling really sick. Like I'm not hungry at all. I thought of a dinner right now. I like actually feel so sick. I've been really good at sticking to my calories, but like I legit feel sick to my stomach. I don't think I could eat anything. So I think I'm just gonna go lay down and like go to bed early. Like I'm gonna lay in bed, edit and read. Probably just go to sleep early. Like I'm feeling like <laughs> really sick. I'm happy I'm getting out, but I'm like, I like, yeah, I just do not feel my best right now. So that's the update. These things work, but like I said, it was a, like a good six days. So I feel like there's just a lot that needs to get out. That's the update. <laughs> good morning. It is 4.30 a.m. Hello. I set my alarm for 4.50, but I've just been up since like four. I just couldn't fall back asleep. So it was like, let's just get up. Um, I did go to bed. I think I went to sleep around like 8.45. So I still got almost eight hours of sleep, which is nice. But yeah, I'm about to just, I got dressed, washed my face. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna feed the dogs, make coffee. I'm gonna try to do coffee instead of pre-workout. Like I don't usually drink pre-workout, but when I would do like early morning workouts, I would just, to get an extra boost because I'm tired, but I think these days, as long as I go to bed kind of around the same time, I think I'll be okay. Happy I got these little to go cups from Marshalls. These are gonna come in clutch. I also woke up and realized that I am at the beginning stages of my period. And if you guys watched episode one of this journey, um, the day that I took my first injection is the same day that I got my IUD taken out. So my like before I got my IUD taken out, I was getting like periods every other week for the last few months because I think the hormones I've had it in for like four and a half years. I don't know, maybe it was starting to wear off. But I got it taken out and I'm just like birth control free, which I'm kind of scared about because I used to have like the worst periods ever before birth control. Um, but ever since I got my IUD taken out, like my hormones, like my body's been silent on that end. It's been, it'll be a week or a month on Friday and today's Monday since I got it out. So. I think I'm at the start and I'm feeling the bloat. So I think that might be part of my problem too, is that my period is coming. I noticed that my skin's been breaking out and that, yeah, I'm feeling very bloated. So I took some ibuprofen, put in a little tampon, and yeah, we'll see how we feel. But I'm like, okay, that's obviously gonna be, I'm not the best at staying consistent on my period as far as like wanting to eat, make the best eating choices and working out, but, Hopefully with the combination of this medicine, I've heard some people will literally start taking it because it helps their period. So I'm hoping I'm one of those people that it just helps and like makes my symptoms better. But I don't know, we'll see. Okay, anyways, let's get ready for this morning workout. Also, I'm like, I think this might explain why I was so lightheaded yesterday and nauseous. I was like, I felt like, I was just like, I have, I think I was like, about bad side of I can't speak, sorry, it's so early. It's like, I feel like I'm about to pass out. I'm feeling so nauseous and just feeling so sick. And I'm like, huh, this is probably why. Because I usually feel pretty, like, I'm usually really, like, fucked up on my period. So, that makes sense. Okay. I actually got here a really good time. It's 5.44. I figured I would just get here like 15 minutes early in case like I need to sign anything or have to do any extra things since my first time coming. Um, if you guys are in Nashville or familiar with it at all and you're familiar with Green Hills and Green Hills traffic and Hillsboro Pike, I was like, I have never gotten down Hillsboro. I was like, I have never gotten down Hillsboro. I have never gotten down Hillsboro Pike so quickly in my life. <laughs> just because there's like obviously like not many people out right now. But that was really nice. I flew down that street. I was like, wow, if only it was like this every day. Cause like I never come into Green Hills too often because 
the traffic is crazy. I'm just really hoping it's not too bad leaving. I'm hoping it's like, because the class is at six, it should be done by seven. So hopefully it's not too bad by the time I have to leave. Um, skirt out of here before our morning traffic really picks up and it gets too bad behind. We'll see. I'm My stomach hurts so, so bad. Again, having another TMI moment, but I get really bad period poops. <laughs> and I'm scared it's, my stomach is going to like really, it's going to hit me like in the middle of the workout. So yeah we'll see we'll see how this goes i'm like bloated crampy just all the things i'm probably just gonna try to like move a little slower and like not lift as heavy as i normally would just to come over just to compensate for how i'm feeling right now but yeah okay i'm gonna go in and just kind of get all set up and I will see you guys. Obviously, I don't know what the vibes are, so I don't know if I'm gonna, I probably won't film today, but maybe at some point if I feel more comfortable, I'll try to film the classes, but yeah, we'll see. Wish me luck. not gonna lie that was a pretty that was a really good class I'm sore it was like we worked every part of the body so nothing left unscathed so I am jello my arms and legs are jello so this should be fun we're gonna come back Wednesday so I'm like thank god tomorrow would probably just be probably gonna be really sore tomorrow and like day two of the period so tomorrow probably just be a walk on the treadmill type of day Ooh, okay, I'm, I'm getting out of here at a good time. There's still no traffic, it's 7.04. Gonna get home, take the dogs out, shower, and then I'm almost done editing week three. So I'm gonna finish editing that and get that up today. Ah, this was a really, a really good way to start off the week, start off a Monday. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling motivated, crampy and bloated, but we are, uh, we're fighting through it. So let's head home before the traffic starts. A little cold, so we are bundled up. You ready for this to walk? You ready? <sighs> My legs feel like jello. <laughs> Got back from walking them, showered, I'm clean, I'm just comfy because I have a work from home day. So I'm gonna work from the couch because I'm like crampy, period. I'm, my body is tired from the workout. I'm sure I'm gonna have a midday slump from waking up early and doing a workout. So we'll see how the day goes, but. Yeah, I'm gonna work. I can't even like hold my like actual full body sore. I took everything that I need from upstairs because I was like going up and down the stairs is way too much for me right now. So I was like, hopefully I don't need to go back up for anything. Cody's working up there. So I was like, if I need anything, I'm gonna throw it down to me. But yeah, like <laughs> upstairs is canceled until bedtime is what I've decided. All right, guys, it's time for another coffee. It's like nine o'clock. I'm like, I'm tired. I'm physically tired, mentally tired. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a second one because I'm already like... <sighs> All right, coffee number two. Coffee number two because I'm tired, huh? And back to working from the couch. Oh, <laughs> my legs hurt so bad. Just pop some more ibuprofen. About to sit with me eating bad. I've been like working from the couch, doing a little bit of reading and like watching YouTube in between and just kind of like while I do and like watching youtube while i do like mindless tasks reading a few chapters here and there i'm just like crampy and tired but i'm trying to still be productive i've gotten everything that needs to be done done like i did laundry posted the video um did all my follow-ups for locating everything um lunch i just had some leftover butternut squash mac and cheese from trader joe's and then i just know i need to eat more especially because i didn't end up eating dinner last night and then did that workout this morning and that walk and I just I know my body's like screaming for some calories and protein. I just like nothing sounds good. But since I made breakfast and never since I made breakfast and didn't have a protein shake, I'm gonna have a premier protein shake right now as a snack. Cause that's 160 calories, but that'll give me 30 grams of protein. So feel crampy and sleepy. So that's the update. I don't know where my camera is. But I just wanted to give you an update. 11.15, I'm about to leave for, I have just two tours, like two buildings I'm showing today. And I feel like 
shit. Like I took the dogs on a very short, like just one mile walk. I had half a protein shake and then the same breakfast I had yesterday with eggs and sausage. I don't even feel like a real person. Like I feel like I could just start crying right now. I am just, this period is kicking my ass. It's my first period post getting my IUD taken out slash post birth control. And it is kicking my ass. Like I used to have really bad ones beforehand. And I know like the first few months after getting the IUD out, like your hormones are a mess and it's, you have like an adjustment period. But like I, like, when I tell you guys, I feel crazy. I've been so irritable and angry. Like I literally like throw a temper tantrum last night, like full anger. And like right now I feel like if I really wanted to, I could just start crying. Like, I just don't feel like a real person. I'm so crampy. I'm so bloated. I'm so tired. I just feel insane. And I think I'm going to literally do these tours and come home and take a nap. Like, I just want to take a nap. I don't care about anything else right now. I just want to take a fucking nap. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, yeah, I feel like I could literally just start crying. So I'm going to stop talking before I actually make myself cry. I, I just feel crazy. Like I just, I don't feel like a real person. I can't even explain it. I feel awful. But anyways, the stomach is going great. So I haven't had any symptoms from that. I still haven't pooped in the last, I didn't poop yesterday, but it's only been like a day in between. So we'll see. I'm hoping I don't need more gummies. It's only been like a day. So I'll probably give it till tomorrow when if I don't poop at all, maybe. But I just, I don't know. I'm a mess. And I'm so sore from that workout yesterday. Like I can barely sit in the toilet. Ugh, I'm a mess in like every aspect right now but yeah like I, said, I don't know where my camera is i it's probably upstairs and i'm like my legs hurt i'm not going back upstairs but anyways i'm gonna go to my tours and then like i said probably come home and take a freaking nap on my camera i'm like irritable so if you guys don't see much of me the rest of the day it's because my energy is not good and i don't really want to bring the vlog down um but yeah since i'm vlogging every day for this series you guys just, yeah, kind of comes to the territory. Not every day is a great day. Hopefully my client, we're just looking at two buildings. Hopefully he signs. It'll be a pretty good commission regardless. So as long as he applies, I will feel good. But yeah, I'm just a grumpy, a grumpy gal today. Just got home. Tours went well. I am so freaking sore. I'm about to take my creatine um and then i'm gonna lay down i'm thinking if i want to go to bed and like take a nap or if i just want to lay on the couch and read we'll see oh my god it hurts i'm so sore and just like like right here <laughs> it hurts so bad but i'm determined to get it out <sighs> good morning it's five o'clock very sore my quads like literally still holding the railing to go down the stairs and i'm a little crampy but we are going to that workout class again this morning with zola i just took some ibuprofen so hopefully that'll help with the cramps and maybe with pain too <sighs> i feel nauseous but like, i think it's just the uh, is kicking my ass i want to get there a few minutes early so i can just like stretch or maybe stretch before i leave i just need to stretch out like my arms like i'm still like sore here and like here but my quads like really hurt and the leg workouts they do i'm like Ooh. i think today i know the other class is called like body pump but she said they didn't have it today they had something that was just like a full body strength class which sounds kind of similar so we'll see what the difference is i'm like i don't care either way i'll go to either but i am just sore. okay update i don't know if the workout class is still on i didn't even see zola text me at like 8 30 last night i was passed out and she said I'm have, she said stand by on the workout in the morning. She felt a migraine brewing. So I was like, oh, but I literally didn't even check my phone until right now. And I was like, I'm about to leave in three minutes. So I hope I asked her how she's feeling. So she hasn't said anything yet. So I'm assuming if she doesn't answer, she probably is asleep. So if she doesn't say anything, since my legs still hurt really bad, I'm not gonna make myself go to the workout. But if she does answer, I'll go. So we'll see, but I mean, already up so i was like i might as well do some editing or something i could read but i have to tab my books for these books i need to read and i finished my other book yesterday so i'm like yeah i'm just on standby waiting to see what she says so i'm like i'll probably edit because i like editing this early in the morning and then i'll probably wait till the sun comes up and then take them out just because it's still so dark outside you know i don't like to walk 
when it's dark out. Okay, it is 7.34. I've just been editing on the couch, getting some emails done, doing some work. My quads hurt so bad, you guys. Oh my God, like everything else feels like okay now. My quads hurt so freaking bad. Like I was like, oh, I'll just take them on a really long WALK. And I'm like, I can barely walk like they hurt. I think I'm gonna like, put some ice on them later and then put some heat on them and like I'm just like they need to feel better because this is ridiculous. I'm walking but like extra slow because they hurt. Yeah I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> I know once I get through this and then we do the next workout it's like it's not gonna hurt nearly as bad. I gotta get through the initial pain but it's actually like really good that I didn't do this workout this morning because I don't think my legs could have taken it. <laughs> Lift one at a time slowly. Ooh, so it's gonna take us a minute to get through the walk, but I'll give him extra sniffing time instead. Okay, today is recovery day. We are gonna get my quads under control because I'm not gonna shut up and stop complaining about them until we get rid of this pain. So I took a hot shower, I walked, we did like a very slow walk, just hopefully stretch it out a little bit. I didn't wanna like overdo it and do too long of a walk. Uh, I'm like literally like I can't walk and can be coming down the stairs like I had to take everything that I think I need for the day and just bring it downstairs because I was like I'm like actually not going back upstairs until tonight I'm not doing it so I have two ice packs I'm gonna just have some work to do I have to leave for tours in like two hours so I'm hoping I'm gonna do some stretching I, I did some stretches I'm gonna do some ice and heat and rotate back and forth while I'm sitting at my desk. And then before I leave, I'm gonna do some more stretches. I think I'm gonna take an Epsom salt bath tonight. Like we are getting rid of this pain. I'm gonna make sure I get my protein in. I might go to Smoothie King, get a smoothie. I, I'm, we're, we're getting these. I wanna feel, even if they're still a little achy tomorrow, like I just can't, I can't deal with this. So going to put the ice packs on and we're gonna start there. Starting off, <laughs> two ice packs on the quads. I'm gonna sit here like this for maybe like 20 minutes and then I'm gonna go grab the heating pad and we're gonna put that on my lap next. I'm wearing a bodysuit, so you guys won't get any any slips of anything, but it's just funny sitting here with like my pants down. <laughs> but you know what, I'm already starting to feel the ice. It feels great, I'm gonna put my blanket over it so I don't get too cold, but <sighs> what a day. Okay, I end up being on so many calls and doing a lot, which is good, it's good, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, I didn't have time to do any stretches, so like still hurt, but at least the period is lighting up, lighting up, getting lighter. So that at least is nice because I was like, there's just too many things happening in my body at once. Okay, I'm home. Still very sore, but I didn't stop a smoothie can because I was like, you know what? You can make a smoothie at home. I'm trying to like not spend so much. Like when I do the budget, like I give us like free spending money and I was like I'm so sick of spending it on food when there's other things I want to buy so I was like go home eat some lunch if you want a smoothie I have different protein powders which I think I'm gonna have lunch and then do a smoothie in a bit anyway hunger wise don't know if I'm gonna want it but protein wise I need it like I'm so focused on getting in the protein today I was thought I was gonna make like a little frozen meal but now I'm kind of craving like a wrap so I think I'm gonna make a wrap like I said, we're just gonna make a very simple wrap. No way, two slices of this deli meat is 11 grams of protein, are you kidding? 11 grams for two? That's crazy. I'm about to eat four. I don't want that much, but I said I'm trying to get my protein up. I know saucing, or saucing, sauces and dressings are usually where it's really easy to go over on calories because it's like, oh yeah, 70 calories, but like you don't realize how small like two tablespoons is or a tablespoon. I said a tablespoon. Well, I figured it'd be easier because obviously it's easy to squirt this instead of having to like measure it in a tablespoon spoon and then try to like get it out of there. So I just put it on the scale because you can also do it by gram. So we got it right at like one tablespoon worth, but I just measured it in grams because it's easier. So this is about 27.5 grams of protein, 262 calories. So not too bad. Okay, we are gonna do a little stretching and try to stretch out these quads. If your quads are sore like mine right now, hard to sit on the toilet, hard to stand up, then you need to walk. Hard to sit on the toilet is real. I feel like I'm like, are my toilet seats this low? Like, oh my God. Post isometric relaxation. Okay. Oh. Something about having to like 
Not breathe while you do it. Oh, okay. Let's do it again. Ow. Ow. Can you just let me stretch? Can you let me stretch, please? Now is he? Now is he? Oh. We'll keep you guys updated. I'm gonna make a uh, smoothie just to get some protein. I'm gonna have this. This is gonna be 20 grams of protein. Yum. Okay, I just unboxed this from Amazon. I'm really excited. Someone in my comments on my last video where I talked about how bad my constipation was told me to try Smooth Move Tea. So I got this. It was like $5 on Amazon. I'll have it linked down below, but it's just a tea bag and it says relieves occasional constipation generally within six to 12 hours. It says sweet and aromatic with spiced orange notes. Like I said, I'm not the biggest tea person, but if this is gonna help with constipation, it says relieves occasional constipation. And I have not, this is day three that I've gone without pooping again. She says that a lot of people that are on semaglutide take this tea. So I am gonna join the club. I'm going to sip this probably after dinner. It says six to 12 hours. So hopefully when I wake up, I gotta go. Luckily I'm working from home tomorrow. So I will keep you guys updated on how this works. It comes with I think 12 bags. So, we will see. Gonna do the ice packs again. Good morning, it is 6.59, so basically seven. Um, I'm up, have my coffee. I have not pooped yet. I feel things like bubbling around. It's been right at 12 hours and I haven't had anything happen yet. So, we'll see. Maybe it's just gonna take a little longer. Maybe my coffee will be the final thing to push it out, so. I swear every video is just me talking about my constipation struggles. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna have my coffee and I'll keep you guys updated on if anything happens. If not, I'm gonna take some gummies today because this is going on day four. Other big update. So my quads feel so much better than they did yesterday. They do still hurt. I'd be lying if I said I was pain free. But compared to yesterday, well, yesterday if I had to rate my pain, it was like a 13 out of 10. Like really, really bad. Today, it's giving like six, six and a half. So it's still like, it's a little painful like getting up off the couch. Like even just right now, I was like, ooh, just like a little bit, but I'm not having to like pry myself off. So that is feeling so much better. So hopefully it's because of all the, everything that I did yesterday. I was really stretching all day, like icing it all day, heating pad last, like in the, during the day, had it on last night, like take, getting, trying to get my protein in, like doing everything. I'm like, please heal me. So I feel a lot better. Like I think by tomorrow, they'll probably be good. Like this feels after like if I just do like a heavy workout, like normally if you were just like, a, like oh, I'm kind of sore today. I'm like a little bit tight. But the past few days have been awful, but I'm really happy that I feel good today. Cause I'm like, okay, I'm thinking my, my arms feel better. I'm debating if I want to do an actual workout. Cause like I couldn't take other dogs on a really good walk the last couple days. So I think maybe my workout today will just be taking them on a really long one. Let my body like don't do any strength for one more day and then tomorrow we will go back into strength i just want them to like fully rest so i think that's the plan but okay i'm done rambling i'll see you guys in a little bit all right we just got back from our morning walk and i just got an amazon package of some more premier protein shakes i just ordered the caramel so we usually order them like a new box every week but I thought it would be nice to just start having, like if we're gonna order them bi-weekly, like one every week anyway, we might as well just, like when we do our grocery order and we order one, we might as well just order both. And then it's nice because I can switch up the flavors. If I wanna like have one flavor one day and one the next, I can kinda go back and forth. So we already have the caramel ones in there right now. And then I ordered a box of the cookie dough. So I love I actually want a cookie dough one this morning. It's already 10.22 somehow. Oh my gosh. I know you can drink them, like they ship them. They don't have to, they don't have to be cold, but I like mine cold. So I'm gonna stick one in the freezer for a little bit and then maybe like 15 minutes or so and then I'll drink it. Having it. We're trying to be good. We leave for our honeymoon 
90s so we're trying to be good about like eating literally everything that is in the fridge before we go we are slowly but surely getting there so we've just been leaving it pretty pretty empty which has also been nice because i've been really on a mission to limit my food waste and just not buy too much that we can't eat and have to throw stuff out i don't think i updated you guys did i update you guys on my poop the tea did work it took it was like 12 and a half hours but i did poop this morning only once so it wasn't like as crazy as when i took the gummies but i did get some out so we'll see the constipation is a constant struggle but i can't believe we're at the end of week four tomorrow we start week five which is crazy i'm excited to see what the total weigh-in ends up being for like the first full month so very exciting but i'm gonna make a soup for dinner tonight um I'm gonna, or not soup make a chili i think like a chicken chili so we're gonna be making that soon i'm just gonna do like a little cleaning right now it's starting to rain which is perfect for a soup night it's also halloween today so soup is perfect for this like rainy ugly day you guys can't really tell but it is raining tomorrow because I have a whole bag of Halloween candy. I'm not getting many treaters. And now I just want to eat it all. And so you always like the day before the next dose. I just want everything. So I'm gonna have some candy tonight because I know I'm not gonna want it for the next few days. <laughs> In Cody's bathroom because I am gonna take a bath. So they feel better today but I feel like soaking with some Epsom salt would be the vibe. So we're gonna do that. Ready to relax. Hello guys, it's the next day, AKA the start of week five of my stomach glutide journey. So I'm going to be ending this video here. So medicine still working, minimal, pretty minimal hunger up until yesterday. It's always like the day before the next shot that like, I wasn't like starving. Like I feel like since I upped my dose, it was a lot better than like the previous ones where I feel like kind of like Wednesday, Thursday I started to get more hungry. And I know someone had commented on my last video saying that people like don't go too high if you don't have to and like don't increase your dosage unless you have to. Just keep like flying. Basically people keep flying through the doses and then they start struggling. Um, that's not my intention to go too high on the dose. My plan is really to either stay on this dose or maybe go one dose up and then stay there because I do feel better on this dose than I did the last one. Like I said, I feel like on the starter dose i feel like by like wednesday thursday i was like a lot more hungry and i just want to feel consistent throughout the week I feel like yesterday i was like a little hungrier than normal but not too bad so i'm like okay i think i could work with this so i'm gonna ride out this dose for a bit see how i feel hopefully i can just stay on this one but like i said if not hopefully only maybe one more higher but we'll see but my goal is not to take i know you could take like up to 2.25 milligrams i don't want to do that my plan is to not go over 0.75 hopefully i'm on like the 0.5 now so we'll see but have a plan and hopefully it works out but yeah i i, I know i don't want to be on the medicine forever like i know some people stay on a maintenance dose for long term i personally don't want to i want to be able to wean off of it so that's also another reason i don't want to go too high because i don't want the weaning off process to be a nightmare um i don't want to be like fully fully reliant on it so yeah, but overall I felt good. Again, the only real symptom I really had this week was the constipation, no nausea, no fatigue, no nothing really, which is really nice. So just dealing with the constipation. I did poop this morning without any use of like the tea or the gummies. So I will have both the tea and the gummies linked down below because those both definitely helped. I would say the tea kind of was like a little lighter than the gummies. Granted, I also took the full doses of gummies. You could take two to four and I took, I ended up, I took three and then I took one more. So I ended up taking four. So that was like a lot, but I wonder if I took just two, if it would kind of level up to like the effects of the tea. But either way, they both did work. 
Um, I'll have them linked down below if you guys want to check them out. I think the gummies were like 10 bucks and the tea was like five bucks. Didn't do many workouts this week because I was genuinely so sore. Today is the first day I feel better. Like I still feel like a little tightness in my upper body and in my quads. So I'm about to go to the gym. Again, that'll be part of week five, but I'm gonna go to the gym and do a workout. So I only went to the Y once. And I was gonna just do a home workout, but I was like, you know what, let me just go. I feel like I'll get a better workout if I get out of the house and it'll like force me to do a little more. So I'm hoping that my goal is to maybe go three to three times a week and then do like two workouts at home twice a week and then just keep up with my walks and stuff. So that's kind of the workout plan. I'm about to go on vacation next week. The start of week six will be vacation. So that'll be interesting because obviously that's gonna throw me off my routine a bit, but I am gonna set a goal to maybe just work out two to three times while I'm there, like just very minimal just to do something. Anyways, I'm just rambling. But yeah, this week, no real symptoms aside from the constipation, but I think with the help of those two products, we are gonna start being a little more regular. We are officially down 12 pounds on the dot. So like to the exact decimal, we are down 12 pounds. So that's really exciting, especially knowing that I didn't really work out this week and I didn't do my super long walks. Like I only did like, one to one and a half miles with the dogs because my legs were so sore and i only really did like a, two actual workouts maybe this week so to still be down two pounds is really nice we'd love to see that but yeah i think that's everything that i have for this video so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe do all the things and i'll see you guys again in another video all right bye guys nah, nah, no. oh i can't let them take my soul nah, 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 no. Let him take my soul.